I never thought there'd be a time where I'd rather be at work than <sighs> anywhere else. And it was, oh boy. Oh. Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that this show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready, and let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I'm Chip. I'm Cern. And you were listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Once again, or possibly, for the first time. <clears throat> Here we are. We've made it. Our intent was to bring you a new, fresh live episode last week. Because Cern had his big, fun Sly oh, Park trip right. planned. But there was a time, I think Sunday at like 6 o'clock, where that memory or that idea just like went bloop. It's like it turned on and I was like, oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not going to happen. I completely forgot until like, I think it was Monday when I was down there. I was like, did we record yesterday? Oh, fuck, we didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's. I think cause I, was, I was packing and I wasn't thinking about it. I was just like, I just completely spaced out. That was exactly what I thought. I was like, he's probably packing and it just totally, and I was do, I was busy, you know, anyway, life goes on. It goes on. But <coughs> we were getting many updates, many, many as in miniature updates from certain very sporadic <laughs> communications <laughs> through to the group chat. And it sounds like maybe your trip wasn't all that, <laughs> didn't turn out all that well. No. Like I said, pretty hot, pretty hot mics. I never thought there'd be a time where I'd rather be at work than anywhere else. And it was, oh boy. Oh, well, what it's, it was a week long trip up at kind of an off the grid boy scout kind of yeah, camping so situation, Park, which, is local, which is up North. Yeah. Yeah. You're up, you're up North and, uh, it's kind of like a, I mean, you did select park, remember? Yeah, there's cabins and like a big mess hall. It's like yeah, kind of cabins. like a little barracks, but they're like log cabins, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're little cabins and stuff. So it's so we left on Monday at in the morning. I forget what time it was. Like nine o'clock or something like that. So all the kids had to bring their, their shit out in the front of the, the school. Just so duffel bags and sleeping there was bags. like... Yeah, yeah. Sleeping bags and bags and okay. all that shit. So, so they said, okay, be here, help upload up. The kids won't be here. They'll be in their class, and then they'll kind of come out and get on the bus. So I was like, okay. So two buses showed up, mm -hmm. and it was just the school buses. Just the yellow and this is, the yellow school bus. Yeah, just the yellow okay. bus. Yeah. And the kids had, like, some kids were packing like they were going on a, a fucking trip to Europe for a month. <laughs> They're gonna stay in a hostel for a couple months and just hop around. Yeah, in Europe. I was like, "Good God, where are you going? Fuck, are you going? This bag's bigger than you." Mm. So we had a loading problem, and it was oh, like no. one of those like the undercarriage is full, and it's only like half of the stuff. Both buses. We're like, "Fuck!" And they're like, "Well, we have to keep the fire exits, you know, the emergency exits on the bus open and." And the, the lady that drives the bus goes, well, usually, and they haven't done this trip in a few years because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So this is like the, this is like the first time back. And she's like, well, usually we do three buses. And they only had two. And I was like, well, that's not an option at this point, is it? I'm like, no. I was like, well, I guess we got to load the fucking. So then it was just like, just get the shit on the buses. Yeah. So we were like opening the back window and like throwing it into the back of the fucking bus. And like, <laughs> it was just like, now, you were you were chaperoning one of the cabins or co-chaperoning. Is that how? Yeah. So they wanted okay. two chaperones per cabin. And there's how so many? There was twenty eight kids. Twenty eight kids in a cabin. Yeah. So it's like one to what fourteen. One to fourteen. Oh man. See, when I went there, and this is like fourth or fifth grade, sixth grade, somewhere around that. I feel yeah. like it was two high school guys and like eight kids. 
Yeah, this was like okay. This dad and this other this this dad and me were were in there. Well, and here's the other thing: the other dad had like a doctor's appointment, so he didn't show up Monday until like later on in the evening. <gasps> so it was CERN verse twenty eight when we're starting off. Oh man. 28 and this is <laughs> too many CERN verse 28 and it was a fresh 28 like they were amped to the gills you know they were like and boys too but just yeah, yeah. all boys uh-huh. so we get on the bus and we go up there it was fine well it, they were like there's there's way more rules in the bus and the, first off they had seat belts on the bus oh they put them back on they're like yeah they put like the, the over the shoulder seat belts i was like what there's seat belts damn <laughs> i mean it always was a weird thing why wouldn't Children are the most precious thing we have. Why would we? Yeah, yeah. Why are we saying yeah, that it's was okay? A, I'm not complaining about that. I yeah. was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, I didn't wear a seatbelt because it was made for, meant for a child. I was trying to. I was like, maybe I should strap it on. It was like we're ripping my fucking shoulders. Like a tourniquet. Like, I'll risk it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a death seat. I'm okay. Um. So we got there. There's way more rules. No singing. No talking loudly. You can talk quietly amongst yourselves, but it was like. I was like, no, obviously, no sweet seat switching whatsoever. I was like, well, oh, man, I remember what? jumping from seat to seat. <laughs> I mean, I would, we wouldn't even be allowed on this bus because I'm like, you're reading the rules down, and like, the bus was a a, ru- a place to cause a ruckus. Yeah, we walk right to the back. <laughs> that was the spot to be. <laughs> yeah, we were probably problems for bus drivers back in the day. Yeah, yeah. So we get up there, and actually, so on Monday, the sun was out. I think up in Sly Park, it was like 50 degrees, fifty mid-50s, I think. Definitely so I, I had shorts and a sweatshirt on. Yeah. You know, I had shorts and a sweatshirt on. It wasn't shorts. too bad. But we, we go up there, and you can see like little like little patches of like in the shade where the snow is still at. And the kids are like freaking out, like, snow, it's so cool, snow, snow. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah that's kind of cool. And we get up there, and basically they just say, get all the shit off the bus. So you get all the shit off the bus. And then they take the kids to do, uh, who fucking knows. And they call me over, and they kind of, here's your key. You got You're cabin the, eight you know, or well, whatever. Yeah, raccoon. I got crab, cabin raccoon. Nice. Name by animal or whatever. The rabbit raccoon. Be, it's like a cabin, and then it's like a, so in the cabin, I, I always remember the cabins, like, remember it was like one big long-ass cabin with all the bunks? Yeah. I swear. But this one has they like segment them into rooms, so it's like a little room. Okay. A, B, C, D. I mean, there's not really like a. I mean, the, there's like a kind of a wall, but it's still all kind of open. There's no door on it. No, absolutely okay. no door. And then there's like, and then you have like a almost like a locker style bathroom in there. Yes, I remember like that. A urinal, two toilets, and then like three showers and a bench. And then there's like a curtain, and then on the other side of the curtain is the other cabin, like porcupine, I think it was. Uh huh. And that's the other boys. So, and there was three other schools there too. So, in my cabin, it was just all of Jeffrey's group okay. age. But on the other side, it was part of Jeffrey's school too and another school. Like, they were splitting it. Wow. And Jeffrey's was fifth graders, but most of the other people were sixth graders. Because it, it goes oh, to, like, the oldest. That's a problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. So it goes to the oldest um, grade at that school. So okay. instead of uh, these schools have junior highs instead of middle schools. So middle okay. school is like sixth through eighth, and junior high is seventh eighth. So okay. So they gave me the key. They say, "Go in, put your stuff. You're going to be right. You're going to have your own little tiny kind of room. It's, it's, it's you have a curtain there, but oh, nice. it's right next to the door. So if someone wants to sneak out, you're you're right there." First line of defense. Like, right, that's cool. So I put, yeah, first line of defense. <laughs> By the end of the trip, I was going to let those fucks run out in the cold. I didn't care. But anyway, um, so. <laughs> Get frozen. I don't care. So I, I don't care. So I, I set up my stuff, and I was like, okay, it got all kind of situated. And they went to meet at Stone Circle or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And they kind of take the kids around, and they kind of give us the, the, uh, the parents, have, all like, the just, chaperones. Yeah, they kind of talk to you about, you know, don't be positive and this and that, which is okay. That's fine. You yeah. know, obviously don't uh, be besmirching these kids or whatever. No cussing. So, yeah, no cussing, which is very hard. Um, <laughs> you were that they really tested you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really did. They really did. 
Um, I'm sorry. I'm just, I, you're just going to hear me laughing because I don't know why, but you know, like any good friend, if they're having a horrible time, it's just, uh, you can't help, but, uh, Oh, it brings bell, you nothing but joy. Yeah. <laughs> just cause I, I'm picturing you in this situation and then like knowing what's ahead. I think that's my guess. Yeah. So we get there. <laughs> So I set up and they go through the whole thing and they tell you about this and that. And they're going to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner basically in the mess hall. Okay. And and then they tell you shit like, so at night, if you have time, go ahead and crowd the boys around and read them a bedtime story. I was like, mm, that not going to happen. <laughs> what? It's like, <laughs> not they're not in kindergarten? Happen. Yeah. Bedtime. I know it seems kind of corny, but I think the kids will really like it. I was like, yeah, if they're five. <laughs> but I said, okay, scratch that off the list. I didn't like, it. nope. Um, <laughs> it's optional. Yes. And they have like skit night and all sorts of bullshit. All sorts of bullshit. So, okay. And all right, so then we go for lunch, right? All right. Lunch is, you know, lunch is up, you know, line your cabins up or whatever it is. So this is where I start checking. The, well, I check the poison first. Okay. And, you know, you check them in and then like, like uh, okay, uh, so-and-so come on. All right. Come on. Come on. You know, you're checking names off. And they go down the hall into their room and they, you can hear like squealing. Like, oh! You know, just which I expected. Come on, yeah, they're 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 amped up. I'm not get it, but then I was like, all right, guys, come on, you can't be like it was at the first day. It was so loud in the in the cabin. Uh, this kid was talking to me. I couldn't hear him. <laughs> I was like bent down. I was like, then I had to go, guys, keep it down, dude. I can't even hear the kid talking next to me. What are they just? So, they're just so yelling was, each other, just talking, and it's just e- escalating. Every little conversation keeps escalating up and up, or it's just yeah. And, up and up and yelling, and then like they're jumping from bunk to bunk, you know the the, the usual horseplay. So the the bus rules don't so apply to the cabin. Down. You can go bunk, you could jump bunk to bunk, but not seat to seat. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so then the kids are you know kind of getting their stuff together. This is where this is a little indication where I knew Cern was in trouble. I had a kid come up to me and goes. Can you uh, can you tie my shoes? And I was like, I was staring at the kid. I was like, hmm. It's like, can you can you tie my shoes? I thought he was fucking with me. I was like, <laughs> why? I thought he was just like trying to like check me or something. Yeah, or, like, like how he's gonna pull he, one over know, on the. See if I get this old fuck do what I want. Yeah, yeah. he's like yeah. this old fuck do what I want. I was like, excuse me. He's like, I don't. I need help tying my shoes. I was like. I was just like, it was like a moment, like I was just staring at this kid in the yeah. face, but he was just like waiting for me to tie his shoes. I was like, oh. you know how to tie your shoes? He's like, well, I, I no, no, I kind of need help. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, maybe, okay. So I tied this kid's shoes. <coughs> These are fifth graders, by the way. Yeah. <clears throat> 10 and 11 year olds. Then another kid comes up. It's like, I, I don't know how to tie my shoes. I was like, what? <clears throat> I got to like four or five kids. I was like, what the fuck is going no on? No way. Yeah. I was like, I was like, no, this can't be real. And then like kids are like, can you can you help me zip my jacket? I was like, what? <laughs> Guys, mom's not here. I, we ain't fucking doing this all week. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man, I, I was like, just... what the fuck? Someone's got to help the kids. So then now, we go to lunch. If you and don't have like, if you don't have kids for reference, this is stuff I have to do to my kid who's four. But my seven. It's just like um, this is what you have to do for kind of like toddlers normally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. I was like, okay. man. So like, all right, let's let's go to lunch, guys. So I heard the I heard the the cats down the you know it's like heard cats all the way down to the damn mess hall, <clears throat> and line them up, and uh, so we go in and they're having hot dogs. Okay, okay, yeah, whatever. We're having hot dogs, hot dogs and tater tots. I was like, mm, boy, nice. Mm. Okay, that's fine. I'll eat a hot dog and tear tots. So I ate it and stuff like that. It wasn't too bad. Go back and and there's like uh, they had cabin time or some fucking shit, basically to unpack. So it's like some parents brought like a fitted sheet to go with their mm, okay mattress. Do you think they could put the fucking fitted sheet on? No, not one, <laughs> not one. So how many fitted sheets did you shit? put on? <laughs> I don't know. Eight? It was like eight. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I mean, they if they like, held the stamp, they didn't know what the hell it was. They're like, I don't know what to do with this. I was like, leave in your bag, kid. 
That's what you need to do. <laughs> I was like, fuck. All right. So we put them all on and and then they had like games or some shit, tug of war games and stuff. It's like outdoorsy the, camp kind of, right? Like they yeah, go on yeah, hikes like an outdoor and outdoor science camp. Look at yeah. pine cones. Well, the first day it wasn't really time for hikes. So they're just kind of okay. like doing outdoor games and horsing around and getting to know the slide park teachers and stuff. Yeah. And then we go to to dinner. What and time is dinner? By the e- five. Mm. That's the problem because this ain't getting dark till eight thirty. That's a lot of time to kill in between. Yeah. So, actually, I think I had. So we had dinner, and I was at five, and it was like, uh, like pasta, with like a pasta and chicken, uh-huh. with like a, like a watery like Alfredo sauce. And stuff. I was like, oh, and then like slopping it on like. <laughs> like in the movies, like the like, cafeteria in the movies. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. Like prison food. Yeah. <laughs> Get your three squares, kid. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the amount of whining, like, oh, this is gross. You know, they're the kids are complaining to me, like, I don't want to eat this. I say, hey kid, this is all we got. So I ain't your mom. Fucking go hungry. I don't care. <laughs> Do you <laughs> see a fucking it. target? Uh, sign around here. We ain't getting yeah, no. There's right? no other option, kid. This is the I'm gonna food go we back got. There and whip some, whip some up for you. So fucking sit there and eat it or don't. I don't care. <laughs> oh. So like, I said, there's apples and stuff. Go for that. Like, I don't want apples. I said, then sit there. Big <laughs> What do you want from me? Does, I'm eating they... the same shit you are. It's not like I'm getting. A, it's not like I'm sitting off and eating lobster over here in the corner. I'm eating the same surf and turf, baby. For the slop you are surf and turf for the camp counselors. I think is what they should have done. I'm CERN. <laughs> So we, then we went on like so like there's different gr- hiking groups from your cabin. So you like mixed up with like boys and girls and stuff from, okay. from other schools and stuff. So we had like this um night hike. Oh, oh. My my night was the first night, and I was like, that'd be kind of cool. But then they were like, oh, okay, this is a night hike. We're not going to have any flashlights. I brought one. I was like, what? Wanna, it's, it's fucking dark. <laughs> They're like, we're going to use our night vision. I was like, oh, oh my God. Come on now. Then, I mean, he tried to, I mean, it was a science teacher. So he was okay. talking about rods and cones and like black and white or, you know, whatever it is. Your rods see black and white, which you can see at night. And you've noticed there's no color. But once you have light, then you see color. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. But then we couldn't even use, use a fucking flashlight on the way back. How long was this hike? I think an hour. What? Yeah. With no lights? The, with no lights. And like he was like, guys, just be quiet so we can t- see if we can hear oh, like sure. the, <laughs> They'll the be real quiet the wind. Well, there was this other like chaperone. It was this mom who had her son there, so she was chaperoning, but she had to stay in the a girls' cabin. But her son was there, mm. and she was like, I think she thought she was like, like, like on on duty. She was like, the kids were like whispering and stuff, and I was like, whatever. Kids are gonna whisper. What the yeah. fuck? I'm not gonna. I don't, I don't care. And she's like, "Be quiet! If I have to pull you out of line, I was like, what are you gonna do? You gonna give him a spanking? <laughs> fuck you out of here! <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna do?" She was like screaming at these kids so, for whispering. I was like, "You gotta call them an like, Uber and send them back home." Yeah, she was like, "Get on me!" And she's like, "These kids are talking." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> what do you want? They're fucking twelve years old. T- t- between ten and twelve years old, they're they're hiking with their friends in the dark. What do you want them to do? You can't see shit, so what the fuck? <laughs> if you're a parent, you can't. There's simply not enough mental bandwidth to to like be on top of all that stuff. So you just have to be okay with letting. And it's different for everyone. You might let certain things go and be into other things, but you can't hang on to everything as a parent. There's just it's too much. So you pick, pick your the battles. Talking, just pick your battles. Yeah, pick your battles. Very yeah, good. If sir. they were like screaming or something, I'm like, guys, come on. You know, I'll just you know, just knock it off. But they were just like whispering to each other, and so she was like cracking the whip on him. I was like, okay, wow, whatever. I and mean, let the fucking teacher. I mean, he said I'll deal with the kids because they have the authority against their teachers. They have the authority to punish and kick out or whatever it is. Yeah, he was right there, so I'll let him deal with it, not me. I'm just here to make sure no one dies. <laughs> there you go. And did, was that one of the rules they laid out in the beginning? No, nope. <laughs> can't. Have any I don't dust. know. That's all I was. Doing. That was my role. No one dies or breaks an arm. This is my floor. Go. I'm not going any lower than a death. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that's it. Uh, right above, yeah. So six feet above. So, and it was like, there was just some stupid shit where it's like, so it started off with like, so you get in your hiking group, and he's like, the guy's counting the people. He's like, I have an extra person. Why do I have an extra person in my hiking group? Because like, 
So he starts calling off names, and then, you know, and then there's one kid that was yeah. obviously left off the names. And he's like, I thought I was in your hype group. He's like, were you with me earlier today when we first rallied? No. He's like, then why would you be with me? <laughs> he's like, is this the future of America? This is this is scary. This is scary, guys. Like, he, this was this guy. This guy was like, he was actually kind of funny. He was just like, he didn't have any kids. He's like, thank you for reminding me I don't have kids of my own. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's really leading in. I love it. So, what time was breakfast? So, you did this night hike. Now, I'd have to imagine. Night hike was like 7.15 to, I think it was 8.15. There's no way. The kids must have been up till midnight, at least. Like, what? <laughs> at least. They were, I mean, there was like the usual like giggles and shit. Yeah. I was just letting it slide. A couple schoolgirls. I mean, we they, they were getting a little wild at some point, And I'd like, I had to come out like, guys. Because they were like, like the the side park teachers were like patrolling, and they actually had to like come in at one point. Like, guys, lights out means oh, you're wow. sleeping or trying to sleep. That's it. Like, those are your options. <laughs> and so, I swear to God, like the first night, it was probably like an hour of sleep because it's like, oh fuck, because it was like, and it was just like you can hear it because you're on those bunks, you can hear every creak, oh. and you're like, like you're just hearing every creak, and then like at some point, I think it was like. I think it was like 12 30 or something at night i heard this excuse me excuse me and i jump out of bed and i was like what the hell's going on i come down the hall I was like what's going on i was like looking around and this kid's sitting up there i said what's, what's going on? are you yelling he's like he's like looking at me i was like are you yelling he's like looks behind him like at the wall i was like i'm talking to you <laughs> he goes like no one's he just says can i go to the bathroom and I was like, yes, I don't want you to pee your bed. Go to the bathroom. He goes, well, here's the problem. He was on the top bunk. He goes, I don't know how to get down. I said, go down the ladder. He goes, I've never gone down a ladder. I said, turn around. <laughs> Jesus. I know. I was like, turn around. I'm trying to get, like whisper yell at this kid. Yeah, like, turn around. Whisper yell. Put your yep. feet. I want to say, put your fucking feet. And I was just, put your feet on the ladder. So he's oh sitting there God. facing it. And then like he tries to turn around, but he has his legs crossed. Oh no. He's trying to like turn his and he was like sitting there. I was like I was like, this kid has to be fucking with me. He has to be fucking with me. He has to I'm be. sorry. I'm, this is killing me. <laughs> it's like twelve thirty night. I haven't slept at all yet. And this kid's trying to oh can't even get down the ladder. I was like, why did you and then like so he goes to the bathroom and I was yelling at him on the way to the bathroom. I was like, why did you pick the top bunk if you can't go down the ladder? <laughs> just, he ignores me. You know, just walks over there. It's like, God damn it. You're like, when, like you, like, you know, he did something bad yeah. on the baseball field and the coach is yelling at you as you walk into the dugout. It's yeah. the same kind of thing. I was walking alongside him yelling at him. I'm like, why did you pick the, you can't get down the ladder. And you don't need to ask, go to the bathroom, just go to the bathroom. This is a class. Now, I mean, at some you do appreciate that he's by the book, I guess, to some extent. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, he follows the rules. <laughs> yeah, I know this kid. He's a really good kid. It's just like, but what right, yeah. The fuck. Now your co, your co counselor, was he having the same? Well, he'd be up same too. Same experience he'd see me get up. He's like, "What's going on? Was that? Is there? Is this climate controlled building? Yeah, we had it. We had a little heater going, so okay. we're, we're all right. Like I had okay, like a little good. AC in it. So like, so wake up calls at seven a.m. Oof. I think it was like six o'clock. I like I just sat up and he's like, he's like, I know. He's like, I feel like I just maybe have gone to sleep. I was like, yeah, it must have been five o'clock. I dozed off for an hour. Oh, fuck. So I was like, brutal. Whatever. Now please tell me were, they had coffee for you guys in the morning at least. Yeah, they had some coffee. Okay. Because I was like, they better have fucking coffee. I was like, I'm gonna be. I'm, gonna be. <laughs> I'm driving home. I'm taking yeah. the bus home. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck these kids. I'm going home. <laughs> So I get up. So then, the, so then the the little they have like they always play like you know stupid songs to wake up the kids or whatever at, at the. Oh right, yeah. You know they wake them up They're like wake up time. You know breakfast is at seven thirty. Okay, some powdered eggs and and toast. The first night, the first so the kids were like complaining like I didn't get a good night's rest. I was like, yeah, it's your fault. Cause you're <laughs> horsing around all night. Don't whine to me. Oh. Fuck you. I didn't get any sleep either. <laughs> So, <laughs> so we had, uh, I think it was like pancakes and like sausage or something. Oh, there you go. And they they always have a they always have a vegetarian option because obviously there's religious issues and stuff yeah. like that because a lot of the the Hindi kids don't eat meat. They have vegetarian sausage or whatever it was. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'll have some pancakes and sausage. All right, that's that's fine. 
And so, and then you go back to the cabin for 45 minutes and then you meet up with your slide park teacher for whatever your activity is for the day. Okay. And it's different. It differs. And so I did that, you know, we did that. And, and then like, and then after that, you go to lunch and lunch was like, uh, <laughs> I forget. This is where the, the wheels come off the tracks. Like the but pizza, it's, it's, like the cheese pizza no, and the cardboard even, thing. No, it wasn't even that. It was like, we go there. I was like, Oh, I wonder what's for lunch. And it was like, um, it was Mac fajitas, and cheese? chicken fajitas. I was like, mm, for That's kids? Just... Who the fuck makes this menu? <laughs> what kind of kids want to eat chicken fajitas? <laughs> and, I mean, the, the, the grounds were like, what? And it was, it was a weird colored chicken. It was like a oh, gray, boy. brown. Like, and I was like, oh, mm. oh boy. <laughs> oh, my my stomach's rumbling. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I took a bite of it. Like, oh shit, I'm eating some salad. I'm <laughs> fucking tearing up the salad today. Boy. Can I have cheese? I'm gonna make, press up a couple quesadillas here. <laughs> Just scrap the chicken bits. So then I was like, oh shit. So then we, yeah. You know, then you, then you eat lunch. You go back to the cabin for 45 minutes. So they can shower or do whatever. And you have some fucking kids. Like, can I take a shower? Sure. You know, and then there's always a fight over the showers. And here's the other thing. So. They were like they were giving you a hard they were giving a hard time. You're like every kid needs a shower, and I was like, Ugh. like it's That's a tough. health issue if they don't. And I was like, mm, one week. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there was one kid who refused to take a shower, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna fucking deal with it again. Don't take you, a shower. I don't care. Is this the hill you're gonna die on? Is like fighting no. this kid to his death about taking a no. shower? No, not worth it. He told me he took a shower. Which I yeah. know he didn't, but he told me he did. So I was like, oh, he told me. He fucking lied to me. <laughs> Whatever. If he comes up, he lied to me. So. What are you going to do? Uh, Check um, behind his ears or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like, and this kid was like, he was like, he was in my hiking group too. And he was like, can I follow you around? I was like, no. <laughs> You, no, you cannot follow me around. I mean, you can. I said we can hike. You can hike next to me, yeah. But yeah, you're not gonna follow me around everywhere. <laughs> We're not doing that. I don't know what your, your deal is. Why? Because they had buddies. Like they had like a buddy that's like their bunk mate, and like they would go together on. All oh, stuff. okay. So, so and, if, and the rule was like you can't. You have to be mm-hmm. two kids with you at all times. You can't be one on one just in case. Like they say, he touched me. You know, it'd be like. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, that that so, makes which sense. Good, for, which is yeah, good. Yeah, that's so good. They had, you know, two at a time. Now there were some times where I was like, "So here's what's trying me out. This is we're good. So for dinner time. So after they do whatever it is for, so they come back. We're doing the okay dinner time now. And you give the kids like, was that? Do you, do you get a break? Like, do you ever? Do they go off on their own and you get to like chill for like thirty minutes or an hour ever? Yeah, it was at the in the in the evening at like. So I had a night a night hike the first night, so I didn't get it. But that's usually where you get your break. So then the next four oh, nights okay. I had a, a break there it was for an hour. Doesn't seem like but that was, was enough <laughs> time. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> you could have no. used a half day off, maybe. Oh fuck it, hey. So it was like, so here's what's driving us. So then it was like, <clears throat> okay. So this is where we really starting getting wild. Until the kids, okay, hey, get you know, we got ten minutes to get down to to the to the food. You know, so let's yeah, let's get ready. You with no pants, put some pants on. We're going down to the hall. Yeah. And it started snowing on Tuesday. Like it's so it started like snowing, like snowing, snowing. I was like, oh shit. Now and, were most kids ready for the snow? I would have to imagine probably their parents packed their stuff, but the most kids, as I as kind of like, you know, doing a little sample study, they'd yeah. never seen the snow. They'd seen it like on TV. They knew conceptually what it was, but they'd never actually been in it. That's exciting. <laughs> That's exciting yeah. to some extent, but also, <laughs> you know, yeah. They had a hard time understanding like I, there was kids like crying, like when they would go outside and they would like kind of like play in it, and then they come back and they'd be like crying, like crying, crying. I think I heard. I was like, "What's going on?" It's cold. I was like, "Oh, that's yeah." It? And they're like, "It's really cold." And I was like, "You do understand snow is frozen water, right? That's we, <laughs> we've learned that in, in so far. I know you have because I've done. I corrected Jeffrey's homework. I know what's going on." <laughs> oh so man, I was like. But anyway, so we're getting ready, and like, there's kids like just you know walking around their underwear and shit, and it's like, hey, put some pants on. We're gonna go down to the yeah to the to food, and they just like stare at you. It was like ten minutes, five minutes. We got three minutes, and then like then they put their pants on, and then they sit down in the bunk. Like, 
you have no socks and no shoes. Put your put it on. And they're like, they just stare at you. And then it's like, it's time to go. And then they put their fucking socks on. It's like, there was just one kid. <laughs> he was last every single day. Yeah. He wouldn't move until it was time to line up, to go. And you would give him like a... The heads up. Ten. Like go get eight, dressed right now because five, we're gonna yeah. be yeah. And I would call us by I would start calling by name. Like, put it on. <laughs> Let's go. You no pants. Hey, no pants. Get some yeah, pants on. You with no shoes. So then like this one kid, same kid that wanna follow me around, he's a bigger kid. He was wearing shorts. <sighs> Chili. And a jacket. And so I was like, dude, you want to put some pants on? He said, No. This is also kids in shower. Mm. So he was my one of my special kids. And yes. he said, nope. And I said, whatever, we got to go. So just put your shoes on, let's go. So they went down there. And then one of the sniper teachers was just like yelling at him, like, you got to have pants on. And he's like, my mom didn't pack me any pants. Mm. So then she turns to me and starts like reaming me. She's like, he should have been packed pants. Why didn't he pack pants? It's like, I'm not his mom. <laughs> not his mom. So she's like, and then she stared at me. We had like this, you know, the, you know, where you just stare at each other. Like, and she's what like, are we doing here? Well, this is not my <laughs> child. Just because I'm a chaperone doesn't mean I fucking went to his house and packed his shit. Yeah. Oh, she's man. like, but he's got to have pants on. You know, hypothermia is a real thing. I was like, first off, calm down. We walked, we walked like 500 feet from the fucking <laughs> cabin to the hall. So give me a break. Yes. Hopefully, you <laughs> should, be, should be all right. He's not stranded <laughs> yeah. out here for two days. <laughs> It's not Jeremiah Johnson all of a sudden, you know, like, let's <coughs> relax. So we went back and I said, you know, hey, buddy, I find it hard to believe your mom didn't pack your pants. Open your bag. And sure as shit, they were down at the bottom. He just, oh, didn't, want, he just didn't want to wear the fucking pants. That's what it was. Oh, shit. So I said, dude, you got to put pants on next time, right? He's like, but I don't want. I said, dude, can you just do me one? I don't want to be battling you and the other teachers. I don't, yeah. I don't, I'm not doing it. All right. I was like, thanks. So then we go. So the first night in the other cabin, the porcupine that conjoins, yeah. they had a kid vomit and, and diarrhea on the bed. But it was in the other cabin. Oh. I heard, I was like, oh, damn. Like, like, that sucks. But he's out. Okay, oh. he's going. I'm okay. Maybe it was just the food or whatever. And then. Maybe that Alfredo sauce, kid. you think? <laughs> you think it's yeah, or the know. chicken, or the chicken fajitas? The mystery chicken. <laughs> Pink slime chicken. <laughs> so, so then, I think it was like finally got everybody kind of rested down and, and shit. And it was like, I think it was like midnight. I was finally like dozed off one one forty five. I hear like whispering and then coughing. I was like, please, oh no, please, please let that motherfucker be coughing. Whoever that is, not the you know. You know on the on the door, a little knock on the door on the wall. He goes, "We no door," and we're like, "Yeah." He's like, "Um, excuse me, coach." They call me coach. I was like, yeah. <laughs> "Coach, <laughs> I threw up," and I was oh, like, "Oh man, <sighs> okay." So I get up and I look. I was like, "Where'd you throw up?" She told me the toilet. I threw up in my bed, mm. and I look. So top bunk to probably look. too. Top bunk. Of course. Top bunk. I go to look. I put my hand right in it. And I was like, oh, oh fuck. Oh. And it was all over the floor, too. And I was like, <gasps> oh, my God. So I had to call the I had to call the teachers down there. I was like, hey, we got to, you know, so-so oh. threw up. They're like, now, is the, does the cabin, like, wake up? Or are there people sleeping through this somehow? There are some people sleeping through it. The poor guy below him was not. He was, and oh. I had to try to, like, get all the shit, you know, like, oh. clean it up before it, like, drips down on him's ass. Oh my god! Oh, so I'm like, it's like two a.m. and I'm like mopping the floor of all the puke, you know. Oh my god! And I was like washing my hands, so he oh. had to go. I was like fuck. So that was like two. It was like two or something. And we were fine. I was like, ah, oh, thank god. So I go to sleep, and then there's like somebody else like calling me. I was like, oh my god! No. So I get up again. I was like, what's going on? I'm like, can I go number two? I was like, what's with you kids? Just go to the <laughs> just go to the bathroom. <laughs> Fuck. So it's just like another night of like two hours of sleep or whatever. Plus puke. Then it, a puke interruption. Plus puke, which, you know, wiping the fucking floors oh, and shit. Oh, God. God damn. That's horrible. And then, 
so it's like we walk. So when we get up on Wednesday, it's a thick, like it's a good six inches of snow on the ground. Oh shit! For the hikes and stuff, all the outside yeah, activities. Yeah, for the hikes, yeah. Nice. So then they do, and like there was this kid on the hike was bawling, just absolutely bawling. On the just hike. lost it. Like, what's going on? The teacher's like, "What's going on?" He's like, "My hands are cold." He's like, "Just put them in your pocket." <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> Just use those pockets there. Oh, oh shit! Man. And then, and then, that's the day we came back for dinner. So this like, is this is only the third day, and you still have two more days. Third day. Yeah, this is the third day, and we had like turkey sandwiches for lunch. That that nasty like deli turkey. Uh, you know, it's like yeah. I must say the bread was exquisitely. It was top notch. Oh, bread, of course, right. <laughs> top shelf. I'm sure. <laughs> but the, it was like one slice of turkey, a piece of American cheese, and some lettuce. And the kids were like, oh, "I don't like this." I was like, hey, "Listen, kids, this is exactly on my menu either." But this is what we got to eat. <laughs> Fuck. And they're like, "My mom likes me." And I said, "Mommy ain't here." Okay, I've told you this before. This is what we got: eat it or don't. Yeah. Like I kind of tell them I, several times, like eat it or don't. Just I don't it, care. It it sounds like for a lot of these kids, this was like their like a first sort of real world sort of experience for them. Yeah, and they struggled big time. We were on Struggle Street from the get go. But it, <laughs> was, <Struggle Street. laughs> it was. It was. Wow. So I mean, and I said, "Don't eat it then. Don't eat it. I didn't. I, I don't care." I mean, they got to I mean, be I'm, starving, right? With all, if no one's oh, eating, yeah. any, all the hiking and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But. Whatever, do whatever you want. Oh, you want to be, you, you can sit there with your arms folded. I don't care. Your mom's not here, so <laughs> you think I feel bad? You're hungry? No. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hungry too. I'm getting a kid sized meal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cleaning up puke at two in the morning. Yeah. So that's when the that's when the kids started. Like one kids were crying. He wants to go home. Okay. It just it all went down. It was just all downhill. I want to go. I want to go home. I want to go home. I said, all right, well, told the teachers, teachers, like, they're not going home. We're, we're not going to send kids home for, for wanting their mommy. That's just, this is part of the learning experience. experience like, okay. Yeah. Damn. So then one kid did it, and then another kid did it. And then another, it was like three of them. They were just crying. I want to go home, and, and they're like, all just yelling, I want to go home, or I want to yeah, see I, mom I, or stuff. I feel sick. I feel sick. And they weren't, you know, they were just, yeah. like, you know, they were trying to do that. Like, I was like, oh, okay, well brutal that ain't happening sorry guys so we we go on a hike oh no i didn't go on the hike because then we had somebody after lunch just gave it up oh another one i was like fuck okay well and there's so, other kids getting sick around too, like in other cabins. Yeah, it was just like yeah, it was just like it was. It started in the other one, and then it kind of like spread. So it was like this kid threw up, and then the other kid in the other cabin threw up, and then this other kid in our cabin was said his stomach hurt. So it was like so it's taking all down, and then he threw up down there. Oh, so it was like man. they said you can't go on the hike. You gotta yeah. you gotta come back. You gotta help. You gotta help pack up kids because you can't drop it like flies. <laughs> they're yeah, they're like dropping like flies, and they can't have like the parents can't go in there because they're not cleared. You know, it was with the oh right, yeah, life background checks and all this stuff, yeah. insurance, yeah. And I mean, the teachers could as well, but they were down there, so and they can't really have any like female chaperones. Obviously, can't go in, so I had to go in there and pack yeah. them. So I had to put my mask and gloves on because I had to clean a bunch of dirty underwear and shit like that too. Which was, I was like, this. So I'm my hands and he's packing these little these nasty, dirty underwear, and she was like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> That's brutal. So pack it, so, it's so pack, brutal. I was packing it up. I was packing it up. And like, oh, fuck. So we packed all these kids up, put their stuff back, you know. And then it was like, here's a list of things that he's missing. And it was like his hiking boots. Hmm. This is what they look like. Okay. So I'd find one shoe. And you're just searching in the room. Yeah. Oh. Nowhere to be found. It's in another room. I was like, how the fuck? <laughs> Just grow so legs and, and walk like over one there. One glove, two gloves. It was like, oh my god! Oh my god. It was just, so. Then, so I spent most of my afternoon doing that, and then like in the evening, there were like something happened. This is from another school, but 
they were calling for a male chaperone because one of the boys got a pencil stuck in his butt. Not surprising, I suppose. I, someone's like, how did that? I, said, I don't know. I don't, don't want to ask know. questions. Then I don't want to express interest because I didn't hear what happened. I didn't hear this. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> this never happens. I'm not, I didn't sign up to be doing this. I am not <laughs> pulling a pencil out of some kid's ass. It no. can stay there all fucking week. I don't care. I'm not doing this. I didn't hear it. Don't even tell me how it happened. I don't care. <laughs> now, we should also add on, this place is kind of like an off-the-grid style <coughs> place. So it's not like CERN's checking out Sports Center at night on the tube with the other bunkmate. There is zero electronics in here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can get, you can do text messages and stuff like that. But if I tried to pull up something like any kind of like, you know, YouTube Instagram or Instagram or, or anything, or MLB, you know, even the MLB app, I couldn't even, I couldn't even get that going. Pokemon? Just spin. Nope. It was just the Rip. loading screen, but sit there and sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there. So I was like, oh, shit. So the next. That was like Wednesday. So now we're th- now we're on Thursday. Well, Wednesday, where I started to like some of the kids were like, there was this one kid he'd ask me what we were doing every five minutes. <sighs> they're just wearing you down. It's just like they're just everything's just cutting at you. You're like well, a tree. They're just. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm like, what group are you in? I'm in group two because they all go you know, hiking groups. Okay, what did your teacher say you were going to do? And they would tell me. I'm like. Then what are you doing? That's what you're doing. Well, is that what I'm doing? I said, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, maybe they were playing you. Was this some long con they were all doing? They, they all got together to huddle up because they all did it seamlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Like, it was like, okay. Okay. Oh, man. So we're going through whatever it was. And then I think I took a shower. And, you know, during my, during my break time, I took a shower and shaved yeah. and stuff just to kind of get a little bit clean. And then, and here's the other thing. So at the end of the day, they'd always give the kids like a cookie, but it was right before bed. So I was like, great going, guys. Give them a fucking yeah. cookie. And right, maybe an hour before bedtime. Good. Ja- get them all jacked up with some. Yeah, get them all you know, fucking jacked up so they can jump sugars. off the bunks. And the shower, we had like, you know, the kids were always fighting over the showers, most of them. Yeah. And the ones like, that were okay, showering. You go. Yeah, you can go. You can go. Some kids were trying, like, I was like, can I take a shower? I'm like, didn't you take one this morning? Yeah, I want to take another one. I'm like, no, you got to wait because we have people that haven't taken one yet today. But I want to go. I was like, tough. And they like stare at me and like, but if there's nobody in there, I said, if there's nobody there, I will let you know. But there's a long line and that's just, you ain't going to have one today. You already took one. You only need two showers a day. Yeah, well, we know why. Why is the second shower? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So... And I had to yell at some of the kids. Like, there was this kid that was, like, hanging out in the showers, like, talking to the kids. I was like, get out of here. <laughs> he was like. <laughs> like he's in the sauna, like an old old man in the sauna, just having yeah, a like chat. Yeah, sitting on the bench chatting with <laughs> the kids in the shower. I said, get out of here. This isn't a social club. This isn't a bathhouse for, like, your fucking conversations. <laughs> yeah. I don't think your friends, because they're, like, fifth grade, so they don't really want, you know, their friends peeping at them. Yeah. I said, your friends don't want to, want you peeping at them. They're, you know, they have, well, there's a curtain. I said, get out. Get out. Just get out. You're Get literally out. spending your force to stay together for five days. You can talk to them later. Yeah. You talk to them when, when your horse are out at bedtime. It's supposed to be sleeping. Yeah. 1230 at night when you're trying to catch a wink. <laughs> what sort of carnage were you in store for on Wednesday night? Um, this kid again starts yelling my name. Excuse me. Excuse me. Same kid. Coach. So I was like, so I get up. I run over there. I was like, I was like this is this one. I almost. I almost <laughs> lost my fucking mind. You won't believe this. This is at this is at twelve thirty. He's yelling my name. So I come running out. I said, "What?" Because I thought he's puking. And you know, because we had we started oh. we had like five, four or five people at this time go down. This is Wednesday, and he's like, "I was like, what?" He goes, "I don't like how quiet it is." <laughs> like my blood was <laughs> boiling. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I wish this was the old time where I can give you a paddle in the ass because this is ridiculous. So I was like, I was like, what do you mean? You know, like how quiet he is. He goes, 
I just don't like how quiet it is. Like, I go, so your solution is to yell and wake everybody up at 1230? He's like, but I don't like how quiet it is. I said, there's like, because they have like the bathroom fan going on. I yeah. said, there's a hum back there. Yeah, there's some white noise. It's too quiet. <clears throat> I said, tough. Lay down and go to sleep. Then you won't have to worry about how quiet it is when you're sleeping. Mm-hmm. It's true. And he's like, you just like, and he's just like staring at me. Like, just like a blank stare. And I was like, oh my God. Lay down. I'm leaving the room. Oh so I go back. God. And this other kid's like, starts crying. Like, ooh. Like, oh, no. Absolutely just crying. I was like, what? What's going on? I want to go home. I said, you can't. <sighs> okay, we're not calling your mom. It's I'm sleeping. One o'clock. She would, at first, it would freak her out. <laughs> Call her one o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She'd think you're dead, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> <clears throat> I said, we're not calling your mom. I want to go home. I said, it doesn't matter. You're not going home. I said, buddy, we're all in this together at this point. <laughs> so, it's like the Apollo 13, man. Yeah. I say, I say, he kept crying. I said, listen, crying is not going to change your situation. No. You're here. Whether you're crying or not, I said, hey, crying and waking everybody up is not an option. So if you want to cry, snivel in your pillow quietly. That's it. Lay down and stop. I said, you only got like one more to two, a day and a half left. So like he's like, I hear him crying. And then somebody else was crying. I was like, guys. Oh, no. Stop. Just go to sleep, please. It's cold and I'm hungry and I want to go home. I was like. Yeah, should I ate your turkey sandwich. <laughs> yeah, should ate that. Remember I told you? <laughs> Were those fajitas two days ago? That made everyone oh, sick. You should ate them. Oh God! <clears throat> spaghetti with the just raggy, like ketchup, sweet sauce, water, yeah. uh, water ketchup. Oh. So then Thursday we get up and I'm like dead. I think I maybe I maybe clocked in about five hours of sleep for the three days. Fuck. And I was like, so I walk over and just get a cup of coffee. And there's kids like still crying, like they want to go home. And there's this one kid who's been trying to go home, like the whole trip. Is this, this happening is, at all the other cabins? I was or asking. You? I was asking, and it was surprisingly so. Not actually, really not surprising to me. The girls, not so much. They had a couple. Yeah. But the boys, they said it was, it was, it was rapping. Well, you know. Yeah. Um, little mama's boys is what they were. You know, and, and I think, well, I could tell you, mom does everything for him because, like, some of these kids, like, they're, they would take a shower and they would just leave their clothes. And I'm like, hey, come get your clothes. And they'd be like, looking at me, like, what? I was like, I'm not cleaning your clothes up for you. They've never come had to do clothes. that in their life. They just no. is like, someone just always picked their clothes up for them kind of thing. Yep. 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 <clears throat> so here's the other thing that was, that was hilarious. So the showers is like basically stalls. Yeah. Almost all the kids would put their clothes on the floor. Clothes they're going to wear, like their clean clothes. And they run the shower, so it's starting to get wet. And I'll say, what are you guys doing? They're like, there's no place to put my clothes. And throw them on the door. Like, oh, oh, that's, you know, the, the new slogan, big brain. That's big brain. Like, yeah, that's average brain. <laughs> it's not big brain. <laughs> big brain? <laughs> You're like, you guys could use a bigger brain. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was like, oh, my God. So... Thursday, we have this hike. It's called the lake hike. It's a five mile hike. It's two and a half miles to the lake and two and a half Oof. miles back. That's a solid. That's a solid three hour, four hour. Oh yeah, yeah. It was three hour trip. Hike. Yeah, three and a half hours. I think it was exactly what it was. So we do that, and I would say about fifty percent of the kids, we're a mile and a half in, were like couldn't. waving the white flag like they couldn't do it. Did you give any piggyback rides? <laughs> Not a fucking chance. 150 pound, 120, 30 pound kid on your shoulders. I was like, they're like, I can't, I can't do this. I can't. I said, okay, we only call like a mile. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. I, like, I can't do this. I can't. I was like, guys, wow. take your age and multiply it by three. And that's my age, roughly. I, f I shouldn't be running circles around anybody. Here. Yeah. <laughs> For I real. Said, come on, come on. Like there was, so that lady who was a uh, lady I told you about earlier, the drill yeah. instructor. Mm -hmm. So she had, her son was in our hiking group. Oh. And he, 
you know, he has an EpiPen and an inhaler and he has nosebleeds and he has migraines. And so no wonder his mom was there. Yeah. Yeah. He has that. Well, he couldn't do that. He was like, he wasn't like overweight, but I would say muscle mass. He was exempt from the hike. No, no. They made him go. Oh, so, um, he, I would just say his, his, his muscle structure or muscle mass was lacking, shall we say. Oh, okay. So he was like, about, he was in tears like halfway through, a oh. mile and a half into the hike. Like, I, I don't know if I can do this. I just want to go back. I just want to go back. And the mom was like gassed too. Now oh, she, no. <laughs> they, I, both were, they both, when I heard she was going on the hike, I was like, mm, I don't mm. know, lady. <laughs> you might want to sit this one out. <laughs> There's no fucking chance in hell. I see, I, 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 I'm going to make a wild a, a judgment here. <clears throat> And she was like, because she was like, just tell him. I mean, but then she was trying to act like, you know, he was being the big fucking weenie. Oh, interesting. Like he was going to follow the sword, but I guess I was like, that's selfish. So yeah. you can't even make it. Damn, either. you'd make your kid take on it so because you can't take the humiliation yourself? That's <laughs> yeah. brutal. Yeah. So so here's the thing, too. So this hike, we had to cross like a creek. So your shoes are going to get, you're going to get wet. You're figuring it wet. You have to cross the creek. Yeah. And there's snow on the ground still? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. So the, the water's cold. So it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't that big a deal. I just, you know, most of the kids, like Jeffrey's, like, you know, skated across it. There, yeah. There's that one kid that I had, Mr. No Showers and Shorts. Yeah. So I think he wore shorts in this trip, too. They're like, okay, cross <laughs> the creek. You know, you know, here's the rocks, and you're, you're going to get, he yeah. just <laughs> wades through the fucking <laughs> <laughs> was it up to like his knees or his shins? Yeah, or oh yeah, it? oh yeah. I was like, hey, oh, really? <laughs> was like, what the fuck is this kid doing? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, he laughing. must have been like, freezing his ass off. Oh, at first he tried to play it off with like, oh, it's a nice cool down for my feet. I was like, yeah, I bet oh, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, we get there, and you know, they're, so they're at the lake, and there's snow. So they had this rule with no snow pulse because you know kids get hurt, whatever. Of now, course. Now, even this live party here I was talking to, he's like, "We have no snowballs," and he'd be like, "Guys, no snowballs," and he'd be like, "Come on, it's it's impossible yeah. not to, especially with yeah. kids." I said, "I know." It's the first thing I want to do. It's the first snow. time in the snow up. too. Yeah, of I want to throw a fucking snowball. I know. So I usually like I have it. a couple targets in mind for for a couple yeah. of my snowballs. Yeah. So, like, I i mean, I allowed it until someone got hurt and cried, then I'd have to shut it down. I mean, that's what I yeah. would do. Like, someone got smoked yeah. in the face and was, like, crying. It's like, you know, it was like, how red's my face? How red's my face? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I couldn't even tell. He's like, yeah, you're, you're, he's, like, crying. Like, I hit in the face of snowballs. I was like, guys, oh, no. knock. All right. Snowball's down. Stand down. And they're like, what? And I was like, I told you, no, I, you know, there's no, there's no snowballs, right? Yeah. Well, so, okay, so now someone's hurt, so now there's really no snowballs. Okay. Yeah. So so we go there, and they're allowing a little bit of snowball fight, and then some kids, like, he was in my hiking group, not from our school. He was a kid, I hate to say it this way, I thought he was a girl. Like, I just thought he was a girl. Uh-huh. And then it, he was a boy. You know, his name, you know, I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, okay, so whatever his name was, I can't remember. Yeah. And so he got hit in the face with a snowball, and he was crying. Yeah. So I come over there, and I was like, what happened? He's like, I got hit, in the f- hit, and there was a piece of ice, and it hit my face, and I want revenge. And I was like, oh, well, okay, we're not having revenge, kid. Just, are you okay? He's like, no. I was like, all right, well, just lay there for a little bit, and let me know when you're ready to get up. So then all these boys <laughs> come over, like, what's wrong with her? And I was like, oh. I was like, he got hit in the face with a snowball. Yeah. Was she okay? He is okay. Oh. Well, why is she crying so bad? I said, he <laughs> is crying because he got hit in the face with a snowball. And they're like, okay. So she's going to be okay? I was like, God damn, kid. You are not listening to what I'm trying to. I don't want to like. Oh, well, they, they were trying to be not, dicks about it. They were just. No, they, they were just, just legitimately, legitimately making a they're, mistake. Okay. Yeah, they're legitimately concerned. I'm telling you, dude. 
if you, I thought it was a girl. When I saw her, I thought it was a girl. Like, but yeah. then when I was like, a boy, I was like, oh, okay. Cause he has, he has not like, I mean, he had, he has locks. I mean, obviously, certain yeah. days of luscious locks are over. <laughs> the luscious lock days are long gone for certain. They're long gone. <laughs> but, you know, but it was just like, I didn't want to like outwardly correct, like, presenting, this is not a yes. girl, this is a boy. Cause, you know, yeah. Trying to, you're trying to be sitting, subtle with it and yeah. not make it a whole thing. Yeah. Oh, is she going to be okay? I was like, oh my God. Yeah. <sighs> Yes, go, go, yes. go, go. You're not getting. Be gone. You're, not picking, Be gone. You're, you're not picking up. I'm laying down. So then, okay, and then like, they said no snowballs. And there's these these girls. They're kind of little shitheads. The whole fucking trip. Mean girls. Was, yeah, mean girls. Shit starters. Well, they smoked this kid in the head with the <gasps> fucking snowball. And he turned around and like that scene from Dumb and Dumber where remember when. Uh, 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 Jeff Daniels like smokes that girl from like three feet away with a fastball. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. He just was crushed her, dropped her to her knees. And I was like, oh, oh man. My God. I said, I was like, oh my God. And this was the revenge that he needed. Yeah. Cause he, cause he said no snowball. He turned around and she took like, it wasn't like a snowball. It was like a, it was like, like she, a chunk, a chunk and just like heaved in and hit him. He's like, Hey, what the just wound up crow hop. Wow, and I was like, "Nice, oh man!" Like high the, five, guy, right in front of all the, all the teachers. I was like, "Oh, you are done, you are done!" You know, they're yelling at this kid. I was like, "Oh, oh. shit!" This girl's like, you know, on her knees, like laughing, crying, you know, like trying to trying to play it off, but I, yeah, you, you could tell it hurt. Nice, I it like, brought her God. down to her knees, dropped her to her knees, like, oh. was like man down or woman down. And inside you were like, you're like, yes. Oh, like you just can't. felt, you're just like, you oh, fucking such justice. Everyone said, knock it off. You got to do one. Because she was like looking around to make sure no one was looking and fucking chucked it. Oh, a little snake. I was, I was like, oh, and then he turned out and just fucking crushed her. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, well, that's what you get. <clears throat> so then we're getting, so, okay, so we're at the lake. We've got to go back. But <sighs> did everyone make those, it out to the lake? Everyone made out the lake because that kid that was crying, like, I can't make it. The guy's like, at this point, it would be longer to go back. Then yeah. just go to the lake. So they went to the lake, and then they had to like get a car to come pick these kids up. And the the oh, mom, and the chef okay, that there. okay, yeah. So they did so they, that. I was, yeah, I mean, some of the kids, I was like, I think you you could probably use a, the hike back, kids. I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't kill you, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, there was one kid. He wasn't in my cabin, but I, the te- they had pulled teachers, and they were saying like, uh, I'm really concerned about this kid. Oh, he really moves. At one speed, like he doesn't move, like he's really slow. His muscle mass is, you know, okay, yeah. Okay. So, so that he got a ride to feel the other kids. I was like, okay, yeah. whatever, whatever. I mean, a five mile round trip hike. If you're not used to hikes, that's definitely, and it doesn't sound like you're used to even walking a block or two. Yeah, that would yeah. that would be you would be. Well, I said something. Sure. I said something. I Blisters. Like, <laughs> I said the kids only have how many times? How many days a week the kids have PE? They said one. What? I was like one day. I was like, if there's ever a reason to have more than one day, if you ever want a reason, just take take these fucks out on a hike and you'll see. <laughs> you can't go on a five mile hike to the lake yeah. in the snow. <laughs> one day. That's horrible. Yeah, one day, thirty minutes. That's that's ridiculous. <laughs> I know. I don't agree. With okay, that. so this is Thursday, and you, the light is at the end of the tunnel for you. Yeah, we're getting ready. We had another kid then barf, like just like he was like that in, night. He was in the cabin. No, it was this during the day. He was like, "I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up." So he go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. And he's like, he's like doing like the hands. He's like, oh, oh he's just panic. Yeah, panic, yeah. panic, panic. And I, and I just yelled, "Get outside!" So he runs outside and and like the kids are lined up to go to dinner or whatever, lunch oh. or whatever the fuck it is. And he just blah all over the deck. Oh. <laughs> and the kids are like freaking out. Like, ah. Dude, this is like a movie. No, this is don't. a scene out of a movie. So then I was like, everybody out. Go through the other cabin. Don't walk through the fucking puke. Yeah. Oh. So and I take the kid to the to the bat to the office or whatever they call it Mount Misery. <laughs> <laughs> UPS so package? Then, yeah, I think so. Or Amazon. Mm. That or dildo you ordered finally in? Or the wind? Oh, yeah, that is windy. Um, so you know, okay, and then you know, there was a kid who was the kid that was crying all week to go home. I mean, he was trying to like. 
I can hear him like, I'm just going to bite like a, a deodorant stick just so my stomach hurts so I can go home. You know, and I was like, oh, my God. And I knew this kid. Oh. I know this. I mean, I don't really know him, but I've heard that he's he can't like stay in a movie theater. Or he just has. OK. A mom. Yeah. So when I, saw his name, when I saw his name in the cabin, I was like, fuck. You knew maybe it was. Gonna so be finally it was like it was like Thursday and he was doing the same shit. And like, he's not sick. I say, get his ass out of here. I'm tired of dealing with this shit. Get, it's true. I'm, and he's, I say, he's a fucking cancer. He starts to, he was like lobbying the other kids. Like, if we're all sick, they got to cancel like, the trip. Like, cancel? We're already here. Oh, shit, really? He was trying yeah. to get, he's trying to, he's being political. He's trying to get, yeah. he's lobbying for. Yeah. Uh, I said, get this, get this kid out of here. <clears throat> so I was like, last night, boys, you know, let's, let's, uh, we made it. Let's end on a good note. Cause we could yeah, do it. We could do it. <laughs> Let me get three, so, four hours of sleep tonight. Yeah. So then I lay down and finally everyone's and everyone's kind of like just tired. So they were actually slept. And think nice. we're down like nine kids to this puking disease. And just and your like, cabin that was originally almost thirty, like a yeah. third of them are gone. Yep, we're down nine. And the other cabins I assume are probably so it was just our two, the porcupine and, and the raccoon. They were down seven, and we were down nine. Wow. And so I was like, oh, shit. Okay. So I laid down at night. I was like, okay, finally. And, there was, and they were quiet. I was like, sweet. I'll get some, maybe I'll get a couple of hours of sleep. Yeah. And now my stomach is not feeling great. Oh, no. Like, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, yeah, maybe it's just, hopefully it's just the food. Hopefully it's what, just What food. was for dinner that night? It's the salmon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like chicken strips and mashed potatoes. Oh. So I was like, oh, no. I was like, yeah, we'll see. Let's just see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> my stomach's bubbling. Ooh, my stomach's bubbling. And now we're at that point where it's like, I feel something brewing. I cannot uh-huh. trust you. Can't trust a fart at this point in time. Oh. You don't know. You don't know what. Oh, okay. Happen. You're in the danger zone then. Yeah, we're in danger. So you zone. don't take a chance. So I think I sleep maybe an hour because it's like every little thing is like, and I have heartburn. It's just like it's just like oh, all. No. It's like <clears throat> so. Then I get up and I'm like, so I put a mask on because I'm like, oh fuck, boys. So I put a mask yeah. on and stuff and walking around and the teacher's like, you feeling okay? I was like, nah, I'm okay. They're like, mm, you're moving pretty slow. Yeah. Like, big was, hike yesterday and i was like my stomach i said my stomach's a little uneasy at the moment and they said the other teacher she they <gasps> said it's, it's norovirus that they're they're thinking that it is that's pulling through the cabins the other teacher went violently ill last night oh. and i was like mm. fuck a parting gift if you will yeah so then i said you know have your wife come you know, the bus comes here at noon. It was like 11 o'clock. It was like 10. By the time I got there, it would be 11 o'clock. She's like, have your wife pick you up. I don't want you on the bus and have them like a standby me scene where you're surrounded and all the kids are on the bus. <laughs> Could you imagine you're on the bus with the kids and you're blowing out both ends? Just puking <laughs> and shit yourself on the bus? Uh, or they going shit. down the hill? Shit. So we go. So she picks me up and I was like, okay. And I was like, I still had a couple of things to get because it's Jeffrey's birthday on Sunday. So like, I still had like, oh he, shit, yeah. He needed the new pack of Pokemon cards to come out. Nice. They came out that day, and I was going to come back and get them. So I was like, I was like, I just was when we got home, I grabbed my keys and I was like, you gonna take a shower? It's like I don't know how much time I got. I mean, I'm on, I'm on the clock. <laughs> I'm so, a ticking time bomb, honey. <laughs> so I went and I grabbed the stuff for his birthday and came back. I was like, so I took a shower. I was like, okay. I was like, I'm gonna lay down. I'm, I'm fucking tired anyway. I'm just yeah. Gonna so I took a nap, and then I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm okay. And I was like, oh. And then so I hadn't thrown up yet, but I was pissing out my ass at that point. Oh, like, well, it could have been all the food. Too. Like eating that kind of food, if you're not used to that, it just it destroys you. Yeah. So this was Friday. I hadn't eaten anything on Friday. Like it was like French toast for breakfast, and I said, I'm not eating. Like I was, I already knew if I ate, it was over. So I was like, I'm not eating. <laughs> so I hadn't eaten anything. Like you got to starve it. Starve and not like the, the not to the quote unquote. I haven't eaten anything. I'd eaten zero. Not even coffee. <laughs> not even coffee. I didn't even want anything in my stomach. Like it was that. Wow. Like I knew Dude, I that's was a dire situation. A I can't. I don't even know the last time I didn't have coffee in the morning. 
I don't, I was, I, there, was there wasn't. My but I understand like, the predicament. I understand <laughs> I like, the predicament you were in. So I had nothing. And then a little bit later on, I had a water because I was like, I'm thirsty. And I, I, I peed and it was like, you know, like yeah, dark yellow. I was like, oh boy, I'm not dehydrated. So I, so I drank some water and then, and then it was game on. My <laughs> Zoom is revenge. What? My oh, Zoom no. is revenge. It was this all, is on Friday? Yeah. At like, what, whole, at like lunch, like four o'clock, five o'clock at night five or something? o'clock, yeah. Five o'clock I started and I just, and I threw up and I was like, cause I was like, I don't, I remember going, okay, I'm going to throw up. Here it comes. So I go to the bathroom thinking, I was like, what am I going to throw up? Like, I haven't eaten anything all day. Well, I yeah. threw up and it was all of the food I had ate on Thursday was still oh my in my God. stomach. And it was just nasty. It's it gross, but it was like brown. It was like, almost looked like shit coming out of my mouth. Ugh. And I was like, oh, and, and then it was just, it was violent for the rest of the evening. Fuck. I'd and you just like you laying- throw up and then I'd, you know, switch positions. Oh. <laughs> it was like, I'm like, yeah, it's just, just constantly just flushing the toilet <laughs> yeah, all you know, the, the time. Wa- the water bills are sky high this, I this time. <laughs> You had 42 flushes in, in, in a 12 hour period. It was, so that was punishing you for all, how long on Friday? All the way until like, I think it was 10 o'clock. I, I, I think I'd ran out of fluids to, to, to 10 o'clock. So you just like everything evacuating for five hours. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was like, all right, I'm going to bed. And then when I went to bed, I woke up. I was okay. I mean, I still okay. wasn't. On Saturday, I was still like, mm, I'm not eating. Yeah, you're groggy because you have no energy because you just, yeah, you're dehydrated. Your, your body needs to come yeah, back. Yeah, so I, sure. I didn't, I don't think I had coffee. I started, I, was, I was like parched. I wanted some, you know. Yeah. So I was drinking water and stuff and I was okay. And then on Sunday, I was, I was, I was back to, yeah. I mean, I wasn't feeling great. I mean, I wasn't feeling, I wasn't feeling bad, but I wasn't 100%. And of course, like it's Jeffrey's birthday. So I was like, what do you want to do? He's like, I want to play basketball. So I was like, oh, I just got to stomach this one too. <laughs> like two hours of basketball. And he's like, what? Damn. I know. And he's like walking back from the, you know, from the park. And he's like, let's go on a hike. And I was like, oh, okay. <coughs> <sighs> Let me get a cliff bar real quick. <laughs> I, I got a Red get Bull. Energy drink? I, I slammed Red Bull. I said, fuck it. Nice. Oh, my word. <clears throat> now, did your son have a good time? Yeah, he did. He did. Because... As you know, animals and the outdoors, that's his element. So yeah. He was, he was, he was game. Oh, man. And he did your. Why these crybabies were, you know, why are these kids crying? I said, <laughs> I can't, I can't give you the real reason because I have some names I want to call them, but I can't do that right now. <laughs> Damn. So did you get a full report back? Like, did your other uh, camp counselor guy get, get sick or anyone else get sick through there at the school? So here's the other thing. So I thought we should put all the boys on one bus and the girls on another bus since the problems when the boys cabin. <gasps> but they, they mixed put them? By class, mixed them. And sure as shit, I got reports back to some of the girls oh. and went down with it. And I was like, oh, man, that's a mistake. Now, speaking of girls, I remember when I went to this thing, there was a whole big thing about don't even try to fuck around and sneak into the girl's cabin or get into any of was this a, an issue they didn't even this time around or yeah i thought the same thing i remember getting that speech too like don't even yeah. try it don't try to sneak a peek don't even like try to jump in the window don't, don't fuck her yeah yeah don't don't try it. no they were never brought up so i was like okay i won't wow times have changed they just i mean you know don't worry some of the boys were like they were like jumping and stuff in the windows and yeah it's like you know i say hey don't do that they're like, what do you mean? I was like, oh, come on, guys. What do you mean? <laughs> that was I look me. Fucking that was stupid. me like 20 years ago. So come on. I know. <laughs> Dude, that's, we're getting to that point when, with our daughter. Great, Cerny, I'm, <clears throat> I, I, I wouldn't have wished the, the outcome on you, but uh, I can't. I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy the story. A tremendous oh, yeah. amount. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. So thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I we're getting, I'm, I'm forgetting like you know, half the shit I've had to do. Oh, yeah. I know I forgot. The other half's off the record probably too. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got to say, if we would have talked on Sunday, if we would have done a show, I would have been, this would have been the trip that like I would have loved to go on this trip. I was so pumped for you to go because I it seemed like it was going to be such a great oh, time. Yeah. I thought, okay, but now yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared to go. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. 
I mean, yeah. I know it's a perfect storm, and they, I know some of it's because of COVID. Most of these kids haven't left, yeah, you know, home, and then it snowed, and these fucks. It's don't just know like a perfect is. storm. The and snow, contagion. COVID, yeah, <laughs> contagion that ripped through the. <laughs> I know you got fuck, cabin fever. Oh man, that's brutal. Oh, I can't even. I'm exhausted just hearing about all that. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, I told the. Uh, you know, the school. I was like, consider this my retirement from chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a one and done kind of person yeah, after yeah, this. That's it. That's it. I'm going out of the bank. Oh my word. That's gonna like they're very the principal's probably talking about this one, like, oh the the I'm sure, trip of twenty twenty. I'm sure that poor principals would be getting a bunch of complaints from the parents too, like, well, oh, they're they only had to eat, you know, because the I can't imagine the shit that the bullshit they must have to Oh take. You know, and it's like so at the beginning of the of the thing, there's all the chaperones from the school are like, oh, we should all exchange numbers, you know, just in case, you know, we have questions. And I was like, mm, I don't want you fucks to have my number. Right. Like, listen, I'm not trying to be friends after. Yeah. Like, I, I got it. I don't want to have, I, have I don't want to hang out. I don't even want to fucking know your name. It's just, it's just here because for Jeffrey, and that's it. I don't know. That's it. <laughs> yeah. But I was like, ah, okay, fine. Because I don't want to be the one douche, even though right, I tried. Yeah. Like, I tried like because they were in a circle, and then they they said that like stepped away from the circle, like tried to slide out. Of the <laughs> like hopefully, oh, hopefully the circle would fill in, you know, <laughs> my, my spacing. But no. So I was like, okay. So then, the amount of texts that Robin got, like, I hope Sean's feeling okay, like from people. She's like, oh, this person said it. I was like, who? She's like, oh, so and so. You didn't even know him. No, I don't know the name. I was like, who? Oh, so and so's mom. Oh, so and so's mom. Says, I said, how do these motherfuckers know I was sick? She's like, gossip. <laughs> I was like, because it probably. And then, so was there a whole download? Well, I guess your your son at school the next on Monday. There's no story to share because everyone was at the had the same. Thing. Oh, they, they have spring break right this week, so unfortunately, oh. he gets a week to rest. <sighs> wow. That's a cool two weeks, though. You get to go up camping for two, a week and then take a week off from school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good deal. Now, do you think this thing would have been more fun in in like May? If it wasn't snowing? <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> I think Chip's offline. He's back. I'm back. He, he went offline for a sec. I did. I was gonna say, is this would was this more would have been more fun if it was in May, like the weather was better? Oh, absolutely! It would have been a thousand times better. So, what was the worst of of the like Medusa headed monster? What <laughs> what was the worst component of it that really do you think sent it over the top? It was the snow because it was snow. cold. So it was just oh, it was yeah. the cold, and the kids just couldn't like it was cool, but then it's like. You know, they didn't have a nice warm fire to come, you know, warm their clothes. And it's like, and some of them, yeah. like, a lot of kids didn't understand, like, they wore their pants on Tuesday. And now uh, they cannot wear their pants on Wednesday and they have no pants. I'm like, just, just put them on. I mean, no one's, no, we're camping. <laughs> just to, in, embrace the dirt, buddy. It's all right. It's not yeah. even dirty. Okay. It's fucking warm. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. Or like the sock. I mean, the problem is like their socks were wet and stuff. So I was like, you know, they had like the little floor vents where the heat is. I said, put just put your socks on the heater. Yeah. Do they have old radiator heaters in there and stuff? <laughs> they had like the floor vent, you know, like the, the little vent out because it's coming out of the floor. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Yeah. So I'm just, just lay your socks across those. That'll that'll dry them up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but at least you just, had heat. Yeah, that was that's what I was, I was concerned too. I was like, God, if we don't have heat, then fuck me. <laughs> so. At least they had coffee, but it sounds like bring more snacks next time. <laughs> Some actual yeah. nourishment, like protein yeah. shakes and stuff. And they wouldn't even they wouldn't even lie to have snacks in the because they didn't want any kind of rodents or you know. Oh right. So no snacks in the cabin. I was like, oh my god, mm. brutal. And That's like they, no good, man. And they would yell at the kids and shit like, you know, no food. In or around the cabin, although they give these fucks these cookies and they, they make them eat them outside the cabin. Well, some of the kids would just like eat it, and when they're done, they would just you know wing it. Well, yeah. then like the the ravens would come in and, in the morning and like eat the shit. <laughs> so there's like a dead giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Who was doing that? Oh, fucking! Like, like there was scary. 
this one kid like gave me his cookies, like put them in his hands. Like, I don't want to eat them. I don't want to walk all the way back in the dark to throw them away because they told him to walk back. I said, flush it down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> now, I remember when I went there, they had the the iron calf where you just go up and you would, it was like a, For water? a soda machine, but there was only um, milk coming out of there. That's the same thing. Milk and water. That's all you could have. So certain that water because we know certain can't have milk. No, yeah. I mean, there oh was at one gosh. point on Wednesday I thought I'm fucking down in a gallon of milk so I can go home too. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna take yourself out. Yeah, so, just fall on the sword. Yeah. You're like, uh, here it comes, mud butt, and T minus three hours, baby. <laughs> gallon of the whole milk, two, not even two percent whole milk. You're like, you got any half and half back there? Full cream, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I forgot my squatty potty at home. I'm going to need to <laughs> go down because I'm... Uh, do you have the, uh, what, the... What's that thing you got? The the, the, the tushy. Tushy. Yeah. Bidet. Yeah, the tushy? Oh, man. <laughs> You're like, do you have any water device that can shoot cold water up around my butthole to clean it off? Because I've been... I have a bout of diarrhea from all the <laughs> milk I've been having. Oh, man. Well, we, uh, I think today, Cerny, five gold stars, mostly for you carrying the show, but we went above and beyond for the, the oh, Cerny Sluts and the chip. We made up for last week. Yeah. yeah, we made up for the another sending it to the vault, but uh, <laughs> glad, glad, you're, uh, glad you're healed up, Cern, and um, we're back. Sounds like I'm, I'm avoiding this trip in my future. Hard I'm pass. only uh, four pass. years behind you. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? No, 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 thanks. No, you'll hear it. It'll be like uh, today on episode 873 of the Chip and Cern show. Chip goes to Sly Park <laughs> after saying he wasn't going to. <laughs> but That'll Chip's be like, how it turns out. And it'll be delightful. You're like Cern's a liar. Yeah, <laughs> like I had the greatest time ever. Oh, anyway, boys and girls, that's it for this week. So, till next time, I'm Chip. I'm Cern. Cheers.